Hi there. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. I'm just taking a moment and sharing this with my VIP group. If you are not in my VIP group and would like to be privy to specials, additional inspiration, and other projects, just comment VIP. It is a free VIP group, and I love to see you there. I am not going to do the project that I was fully intending on doing tonight for Tipsy Tuesday. Um, hopefully I will do it tomorrow. I've just had some, some little things creep up. The dog's having a little bit of an issue and um, whatever. So I'm going to do something that's a little bit quicker, something that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. But I think it's really cute and I think you'll enjoy it. First of all, these are our patches. They come in two different sizes. They're iron-on patches. Um, they're three to a pack. And the small ones are four and a quarter by two and a half. And the larger ones, oh, I swear I thought I took one out of here, are five and a quarter by five and a quarter square. So they're iron-on, so it's going to be a little bit different. I am going to use ink on them. Um, I could use ink or... Case, depending upon whether or not I intend for them to be washed but um, I think the general recommendations for the iron-on patch is that, that they not be washed but I've heard that people have washed them and haven't had any issues for what I I'm going for um, I don't think it really matters one way or another so these patches are available on my website I will put the link below and this transfer, whereas I think it was mainly intended probably for Easter, um, I'm going to use it for something a little bit different. These are the transfers actually in the specials. It's in the sale. It's in the sale items right now. Okay, so I just posted that as the first comment. And uh, there are six different images and designs on here. Um, they're kind of cute. We've got You Don't Stop. This is Hip Hop. It's a bunny. Um, bunny probably riding a motorcycle. How do you like that? Oopsie Daisies with a little um, teacup. OK Bloomer with some flowers. I love my little sprouts. I think this is adorable on baby onesies. Chick Magnet. And put a little spring in your step. I'm going with Chick Magnet. And see if you can guess what I'm going to use it on. A little bit different for me. I had actually, I had an idea. I was going to put it on um, like a baseball cap. But realize the large patch really won't fit there. It's a little bit too large for it. Um, so I changed my mind and thought a little bit and said, oh yeah, I know what I'm going to do. It. I'd like to put it on a patch and throw it on the back of my brother's jean jacket, but I don't think he'd really appreciate it. But I thought it'd be kind of cute. Chick magnet, right? Would get him some attention. So I'm just cutting through the actual stencil or transfer with the blade of my scissors because I do not want to cut the back the back into my transfer. Um, our transfers are adhesive backs and um, they come with a little backer sheet and that backer sheet lets you, our transfers are reusable, so that backer sheet lets you wash them, clean them, and put them back on the sheet so they don't stick to anything else. And I find that I don't like cutting my backer sheet because then when I hang my transfers, I actually hang them all in an armoire. When I hang them, if they're cut in six separate pieces, I can't see them all at one glance. Um, I used to cut it apart and hang them that way, but I decided, ah, let me try something different. Boy, obviously I didn't do really good with this. I need to get one of those little coupon scissors and it'll be perfect. Yeah. Anyway, whichever way you choose to do whatever works for you, that's what you go for. 
I'm trying this. It's worked out pretty good so far, except for tonight. <laughs> no, it's fine, actually. So I don't have to fuzz this transfer because I am putting it on canvas, on cloth, so I don't need to fuzz it. And I'm going to use ink. And I'm not going to heat set it in the traditional manner because my patches have like a glue on the back that are to heat set them to what you're putting them on. So I will heat set it, the ink, when I actually apply it to the surface it's going on, if that makes any sense at all. So here we go. I've got this little transfer that says chick magnet. And this should fit on here pretty good. I'm a little crooked. Let me lay it back down and do it again. So where do you think would be a, what do you think would be a good application for this? I just thought it was so cute. I'm going to do it in yellow and blue, yellow for the chicks and blue for the wordy. Um, so think about where you might want to use it or where you could use it. I don't know. Maybe you're going to think I'm crazy. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Um, when I tell you where I'm going to use it. Okay, let me do the chicks first with the yellow. And this is ink. And I'm not using an ink mat because it's not going to go through the canvas. So no need to use an ink mat or cardboard on it tonight. But I will need to be careful to make sure I don't get ink on my fingers because even though I've got most of the surface covered with the transfer, I don't want to get any smears or any blotches or anything. So... In a couple weeks, our summer brations launch occurs, and we have got some absolutely amazing designs coming down the pike. And I'm going to do a launch, um, a product live launch, a week from today at 7 p.m. Central. And there's going to be lots of things going on including prizes. There's There will be demos, but there will also be prizes. And to qualify for the prizes, you have to RSVP and be present. So look for that little link on my page that talks about the event and RSVP and add it to your calendar so you don't forget. Okay, almost done with these little chicks. Aren't they cute? Now, what you'll see when I do ink is I usually will go over in one direction a couple times, just giving the chance for that ink to absorb into the fabric beneath it. And I'm pretty much going up and down on these. I want to get their little feet. And I think I've got everything. Those chicks look pretty good. Let me clean it up a little bit. Put my ink back in the jar. Check my fingers, quick little finger check, and now I'm gonna use the blue for the wording. I'm coming at you from the suburbs west of Chicago. Drop me a line and let me know where you're viewing from. My blue seems like it's a little bit thick, so I'm going to add a little bit of distilled water to it. I don't ink as often as I chalk, um, so if your ink gets a little thick, just add distilled water in much the same way you would to your, um, to your chalk paste. The ink is um, much more forgiving as far as it, chalk is chalk paste is made from chalk, obviously, which is dry. The ink does not dry out as quickly, but this is this oh, this jar is kind of old here, so um, just thinning it down a little bit. The other day I did that T-shirt, and I really didn't thin down my white ink, and it was just a little bit too thick, and I had a little bit of an issue of it going through the silk screen and I stuck my fingers right in there so let me grab a baby wipe and clean the ink off my finger 
and get going on the rest of this. So any ideas where I'm going to use this little patch? Where might it look cute? Yes, definitely um, cute on a baby's onesie, but where else might you think it look good? This is it. Proper English. I've lost it. It's been a long day today. Oh, it really has been. <laughs> and a crazy day. There's been a lot going on and Oh, it's just been one of those days that it's been a little bit trying for me. So forgive me if I can no longer speak proper English. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, I want to come down here and get that lightning bolt. Got the bottom of it. So I'll, I'll try and do Tipsy Tuesday tomorrow. I know it'll be Wednesday, but I want to show you that t-shirt and give you some little tips and tricks and things. Ink is a little bit different from paste. The main thing is make sure you don't get in on your fingers so you don't smudge your surface. And then go over your area, over the silk screen a couple times just to make sure that it's soaked through into the fabric. And then once our ink is heat set, it'll be like it is actually part of the fabric. You won't get any peeling or any lifting or any, can I, only I can get it on the outside of my hand, right? Like you would with vinyl. So it's really kind of cool. It bonds with the fabric and you could run your finger over it and it, it's not like you actually even feel the ink there. It really is fun. And a little, little project like this, this is an excellent way to try out inking. Maybe you want to get a couple friends together, get a couple little individual packets of ink, and try out this transfer. There's a lot that could be done with these different images. And we Easter's over for this year, but you could make something for spring using some of these designs or the chick magnet, of course, or for Easter next year. Why not, right? Okay, I'm going to clean this up a little bit, and then I'm going to lift it up, check it out, and see what we've got. I think I need to clean my fingers, though. Yes, right? I'm <laughs> looking for my baby wipes. Okay, so anyway, yes, please um, consider attending the live event next Tuesday, the summer break, summer live lunch. It's going to be lots of fun. And I give a little hint in the design of the announcement of what's coming of some of the things that are included. I mean, they are absolutely amazing. They've really outdone themselves this time around. And um, it's going to be a real fun launch and the coolest projects something for everyone right okay inks off let's lift this up oh look at those cute little chicks so i'm going to take this over to the sink and just clean that transfer under some running water and then y'all use um I'll use a Lysol wipe or a Clorox wipe to clean off the back to pull off any fabric threads or anything that it might have lifted from the canvas. Um, and then once this is dry, I could heat set it and put it on what I'm intending to put it on. So here's, here's my little secret. I am going to put this iron-on patch on the back of a size small doggy coat and give it as a gift to somebody who absolutely loves their little fur baby and when he walks his dog the dog will be saying chick magnet I think it's cute what do you think Got some more ink on my fingers, so let me clean them off. If you're looking for a little bit of time to do a little creative type things, 
um, and you don't have, need a lot of supplies and you don't have a lot of time to spare, consider our Club Couture. It's a monthly subscription package that comes straight to your door. Shipping's on us. It includes an 8.5 by 11 inch exclusive transfer, exclusive to designers and club members only. It comes with either three packets of um, paste or ink in the project. The first month you get a little squeegee to go with it, so you've got the squeegee to do your project. But it is amazing little thing of um, an hour or so of creativity once a month. Make a project for yourself, and remember our transfers are reasonable, 8 to 12 times or more, so you can make that design over and over and over again. And April's design is absolutely awesome. It focuses on lemons. It's perfect for springtime. It's beautiful. And the surface that it comes with, it comes with a surface this month. We usually are um, incorporating some kind of embellishment or whatever with, whatever with it. It is an acrylic, um, it's about five by seven inches acrylic base. And you can use that, um, there's a little jute hanger that you could use it with, or you could actually put it in our um, A-frame base. It looks really good in that, so it's cute either way. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Let me know what you think about this going on a dog coat. I think it's adorable and will definitely attract attention. Hope to see you next Tuesday. See you soon. Here's a peek of April's Club Couture. You get the transfer, the three individual packets of paste, and this acrylic surface. And please join me next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central on Facebook at Craft with Kathy. RSVP and show up live to be eligible to win some prizes. Hope to see you there.